Hi there. Now, for part C, it says hence state the general solution of the differential equation for part 1. Now, before we go on to that, just to run through part B, which I did in an earlier video, we had to solve the differential equation to part 2, where we were using this transformation y equals xv. And we got these two possible general solutions v equals a e to the i x plus b e to the minus i x plus a quarter x, or we had v equals c cos x plus i d sin x plus a quarter x. So if you'd like to find out what the general solution then to the differential equation here is, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Don't forget you could fast forward if you just want to see the final answer. But if I take you through it, we've got that if y equals x times v, the transformation we were given here, then rearranging this for v, v would be equal to y divided by x. So all I need to do now is to either substitute this into this equation here, which I'll call 1, or I could substitute it into this equation, which I'll call 2. And if we were to sub it in 1, so we'll just say sub it in equation 1, then what we get in place of v then is y over x. So we've got y over x equals a e to the i x plus b e to the power minus i x plus a quarter x. And if I multiply through by x, we end up with y equals ax e to the ix plus bx times e to the minus ix plus a quarter x squared. And if I substituted in 2 and did much the same kind of thing, sub in equation 2, then we're going to have y over x equals what we've got here. And then if I multiply through by x, we end up with y equaling cx cos x plus i times dx sine x plus a quarter x squared. All right.